Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1089 for Thursday, May 13th, 2010, the IDAPS Charging Station. And now, get ready for Dick. Rock your socks off, because it's Thursday. That's the kiss with me. Whoa. Another crappy thing. Whoa. Yes, indeed. It's Thursday. The kiss with me. It's Thursday. Another crappy thing. It's Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of crappy themes, it's Thursday. Here's Dickie D. Leo, how you doing, pal? Fantabulous, Mr. Dick Bartolo. I'm so well, so very, very well. Uh, you know, it's good, 80 good. degrees here today. It's 87 in what? New York City. No. We're setting a new record. You're yes. kidding. Wow. New York City this year, nothing has, it's either been... The coldest day of the year, the hottest day of the year, the most snow of the month. It's, it's, it's all of the know. year, of the year, of the it's year, of the year. All of the year, of the year yeah. yeah. We don't do anything normal here in the city. Everything we do is headlines. It's headlines. Wow. Yeah, you're right. It's, you know, that's, that's what makes, uh, makes Manhattan so interesting. Nothing yeah, well, you're is coming normal. here soon. When are you coming here to uh, send your daughter off to school? Uh, I'm coming out August 7th. Oh, August seventh. Yeah, okay. that's when. Uh, that's her school starts early. That's not a tip. That's just the freshmen. They have to go early because they have a three week um, writing, scrubbing and, the floors yeah. and painting. Well, the they dorm. call it writing and thinking, but I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, good, we're going to get you to uh, clean the place up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Layers layers and what is she on. studying again? Uh, she doesn't, well, she's a freshman, you know, you don't have to oh, tell, oh, yeah. tell, tell yeah. what you're going to be, but I think she's very interested in Arabic. She's already spoken with the chair of the Arabic department. Okay. Big yeah. career there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of money in that. <laughs> hey, don't knock it. She could, uh, she could be a translator. Hey, I was oh, a Chinese right. major, you know, I mean, I'm yeah. Not. And then, um, Let's see. She also asks if there's a campus radio station every time. So I think she she says, I don't want to follow in your footsteps, Dad. I want to be a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> she, I don't want to follow in your footsteps, Dad. I want to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah. Don't worry, Dad. I'm not going to do what you do. I'm going to be talented. Oh, it is. You know, yeah. That kind of thing. So She uh, may get your way. She may win. She only has to be a little bit talented to surpass you. So I would say she has a good shot at it. So what do you got? Aaliyah, I have such a neat little gadget. It was at CES. It, took a, it seemed to take a long time to get into the marketplace, but it's out now. I don't know if you saw it at CES. Did you see the little iAdapt charging station? The iAdapt charging No, I don't remember that. What okay, was that? okay. You know what? It's a charging station with no wires. The only wire you need is the wire that goes from the charging station into the wall. And this is what one looks like with three devices in it. Oh. Is uh, so it comes with seven different plugins, and what you do is you snap in the ones that you're going to use, and then when you want to charge a device, it just sits down on the charging plug, and there are no. I'll, I'll uh, just slide my phone out here so you can see. I'll charge my uh, my iPod out. And then the uh, so it's like an iPad dock, click. but with a lot of connectors that can yes, charge exactly. other things with, with too. Three different connections, and they make them for hundreds of devices. And all you do is you press down on a little tab, and it'll spring out the current adapter. Like you know, it comes with LG, Samsung. Uh, if you don't need that, you plug in the adapters that you do need, and they're spaced far apart enough so that your devices don't uh, hit each other. 
And I like it because it can go on a dresser or something and you don't have a bunch of cables lying around. Or it's small enough you could take it to a hotel and charge the three devices that you use most. Um, there you go. It's so they have the i. This is the i three or the i four. Uh, I have the. Uh, let's see. I have the i four. I have the one that does three devices. <laughs> that's the i four. Isn't that a right? So, uh, the, the, so uh, then obviously the i three must be the one two. that does two devices. Yeah, two. Yeah. Now who worked that out? I now that. Know. No, wait a minute. The i four. Uh, maybe the i four is coming. Okay, so you have the. The i3 does three. That must be oh, what you okay. have. And the i2 does two, and an i4 is coming. Now, what do they support? It says 20 available adapters. Well, you know what? Um, iPhone, iPod. That's the basic um, connector, yeah. Right. Then it's it got, comes you know what's kind of cool? It's got a triple A or double A charger tip you could put yes, in. Yes, that, that, cl that clicks into That's one of clever. the ports if you want. There's a Nintendo uh, DSL. Right, uh, uh, a, a mini USB, which a ton of devices takes, uh, micro USB. Oh, that's what I use on my uh, my uh, my phone, and and on yeah. the on the Nook. Of course, now oh, okay. uh, one well, thing that worries me is you're standing the device on the connector. That's what's holding it up, right? That is correct. So but that, if the con if the connector goes like all my devices, the Device goes far down enough that it's it really does hold on, it. Huh? It really does hold it. Okay. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I'm worried it'll break it. off or something. You know. Oh well, let's see. Yeah, I guess you should be careful. Like my iPod does not touch the bottom. Right. So that would be something to be careful of. Um, but it's it's really neat. I like the way it, it works. And I like the way it looks. And it comes in many, many colors. It comes in bronze if you need it. No, it doesn't. For a, oh, uh, some sort of an anniversary gift. Um, anniversary gift? Oh, bronze. I get it. I said it. I had yes, to think. Yes. I had to think. You're a little fast for me. I know the anniversary is always four from, uh, It's always. What's 20th? Because I've already. I'm done with uh, 19th. 20th is aluminum. Oh, that's that no, gives no, me some I, great no, choices. 20, I don't know. I think twenty. It's odd. It might be liver. Liver. It's the liver anniversary. It's the liver. It's something. Yeah, that it's something you wouldn't ordinarily think of. I could give her a piece of my liver, but if I gave her the whole thing, I think I'd be in trouble. Yeah. Why don't you just take her out for liver? Oh, liver and onions. Yeah, liver and learn. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> I'll give her some tin foil, and uh, inside it'll be a piece of liver. How about that? Nice. Then got I get all bases covered. All the bases all, covered. Uh, yeah. Uh, no matter where you are in the world, you've got the anniversary covered. It's brilliant. And our letter comes from Tim Hopkins. Now, Tim says we should review this device, but his letter is, his email is pretty good. So it actually serves as a review. So, Tim, you're serving us some time here. Uh, Tim writes, I rarely get to listen to the Daily Gizwiz at home, but I took half the week off to work on the bathroom remodeling. Listening to episode 1078, you reminded me of Ludwig's site, which is great, by the way, is Gizwiz worth search. bookmarking, yes. gizwizsearch.com. I searched to see if you had done a review of my favorite gadget, the Plantronics Voyager 855 Bluetooth headset. It's unique in that it has a standard boom mic earpiece that you see on every other Bluetooth device, but... It has the option of adding a second earbud via a clip at the base of the earpiece. The reason I need this setup is I listen to Twit while working my day job, and I have to keep an ear open for people that Oh, he's a Secret me. Service agent. Secret Service yeah. agent. <laughs> while uh, the I always people bother me they while were, I'm trying to listen to podcasts. What they were doing with the things in their ears, and now I know they're listening to the Gizwiz. To the Gizwiz. Yeah. 
Then I wanted stereo listening when I'm mowing the lawn or working outside. I'm cheap, so that meant I needed one device that did two. So I use it on the iPhone. The only negative comment I have is when you first set the iPod playing and you put it in your pocket, the audio seems to break up for the first minute. Beyond that, it works fine. Maybe something finding the correct distance for the transfer. I'm happy with it. It cost me $70. The device is about a year old. I'd like to see some modern options that feature that with this feature packed. I hope you'll find it worth reviewing in case there are people out there with similar needs as mine. Well, Tim, you pretty much reviewed it. So it's the Plantronics Voyager 855 Bluetooth headset. It looks like an ordinary Bluetooth headset when you use the one mic earpiece. But if you want stereo, you can plug another earpiece in the bottom of the mic uh, earpiece and you'll have stereo Bluetooth. Uh, and 70 bucks is what he paid. Voyager 855. Okie dokie. I do like the Voyager. In fact, I think that was a pick. Was it not of mine? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, I think we've both done. Uh, the plant we love our Plantronics. Yeah, Plantronics. The yeah. 855 is not. That's the. Is that the super little one? That's the only thing that I. I, I love it, but I lost it. No, I, no, I don't think it is. I, I think the super little one was something. You think about the? Oh no, I. The, I, I it's it a wasn't. Voyager. Which one is it? I lost it though. It was so small. And this is the problem I have with a lot of these Bluetooth. And uh, Leo, no, turn, turn, turn to the right. Leo, it's still in your ear. Oh, that! <laughs> it's still, I, you know, you know, I thought I, I was I, going I, deaf. I, I did. You know, I kept saying, he's got it like a <laughs> bug crawling on. It was just the, it's the it's Plantronics the, in my ear. The Voyager. Oh, now I understand. So let me just see the 855. Just get a little picture of it. Yeah, yeah no, that, that, it. I like that one. That's a good. That's a. Good, I know. Yeah. I know that one. That's uh That one is. It's not as easy to lose. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. By the way, discontinued. Oh, okay. And so he wants us to review it. Well, Tim, you did it for us. Thank you. For and that you review. probably you might be you'll probably find find it cheaper now. <laughs> well, they're always. Oh, it was the discovery. That was the one that was so little that I couldn't. I lost. Oh, okay. I love. I mean, look how tiny that. It's beautiful, but it's teensy weensy. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Voyager yeah, Pro. I had that. I have that still. I like that because it's big. It's got a boom. Oh yeah, that's the dual know? mic. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah. 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 Oh, now they have Bluetooth headsets, too. That's new. The backbeat. I'm going to have to review those. 903 Bluetooth wireless headphones. Oh, I'm going to do another. Another uh, survey. I, uh, yeah, I, I feel a survey another, another coming week, on. My two by four. My two by four doesn't, doesn't get on the air. <laughs> you know, I just think of all of this as fodder for the gadget warehouse. Do you? That's where it's all going eventually. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm really glad you got your rent money. Oh, it's great! So One, tell people because how much did you get? So you, this is the uh, the uh, giant watch that you were selling. The, the giant, yeah, the giant uh, Alfred E. Newman watch. And there's a guy. His name is uh, Tim Johnson, who's a mad collector who auctions off a lot of mad stuff. And he said, "Dick, I love your work over the years. I'll handle your eBay auction. I know all about it. I'll do pictures. Oh, good. I don't want any money. The only thing I ask is if you find two or three of something." If you give me a shot at being first to get something that I don't have in my collection. So it's working great. So he's running. Yeah, if, if you go to my website and just click on Med Collectibles, you can see the stuff he's auctioning off for me. He's and the funny thing is, Leah, every, everything I find, you know, I said, well, Tim, I have a roll of old 485 Madison uh, packing tape. I'll take what? It. what? What? <laughs> I give you $50. I'll take I don't it. see it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's what I love about collectors. They'll buy any kind of crap. Yeah. So, do you know any of them that I can call? <laughs> any kind of crap. Because so, I'm running out. I'm so running if out I want crap. mad collectibles, I'm, I'm at gizwiz.biz. Where do I yeah, go? Yeah, go to mad collectibles. That, I know. It's, that would be a little difficult. Okay, there it is. Mad yeah. collectibles. So this is, there, you weren't kidding. Alfred E. Newman packing no, tape. Alfred E. Newman masking tape. And he said, that, what's unusual about that is that the roll is still sealed. He said it's very unusual to find a complete roll of, of uh, packing tape. <laughs> yes, yeah, so No, unusual. I know, I know. So does that make it worth, like, thousands? No, no, I think, he's think he, I think he said you'll probably get $50 for it. What? Not, 
Yeah, you know, exactly. you don't. Did you do you ever think have the thought? Well, you know, I should just take everything I get, seal it up, and put it somewhere, and sell it. Well, in yeah, 20 that, years. but that's what I did. That's the warehouse. That's the warehouse. And and you know, when Tim emailed me about stuff in the warehouse, I did my tale. Oh, I said, Tim, I've had the room for thirty years at three hundred fifty five dollars a month, and I said, Tim, it's over a hundred thousand dollars I've paid. Really. I, Yes, really. He said, Dick, you're going to get some of it back. Trust me, because if you have really stuff in there for years that no one's seen. How many years? Okay, yeah, uh, $358 a month Yeah. times 12 Yeah. times 30. 30 years, that's $126,000 you've wasted. Okay. That's how much money <laughs> I have spent. That's terrible, Dick. Yeah, no, I know it is, because I kept saying... This is this is a golden nest egg, and and I never would have known about it until one day, I was signing in at the warehouse, and the man was on the phone saying to the woman, "I think you might be the tenant who's been here the longest," and I and then after when he hung up, I said, "You know, how long have I been here?" And he said, "Well, our records that we transfer the computer just go back thirty years." <laughs> you've been and here you've, before and, then, <laughs> yeah, but, and you've been here before that. You're been here and, since and, you started keeping records with quill pen yeah he said the warehouse used to be in a in a prairie when you first yeah. had the room. and all these skyscrapers went up around it no so, had i had leo had i not collected one single thing i would be probably a hundred and twenty thousand dollars ahead so <laughs> so all you people out there collecting crap this is good to remember in your garage, yes. This is good to remember. Renting a warehouse, no, no. So, but it's fun. Gadget Warehouse Friday wouldn't exist without the warehouse. Let me uh, let me uh, ask you about this Mad Minute tape you're selling. I yes. have, you know, you sent me about fifteen of those. Yeah. Well, these are the actual tape. If you're a mad collector and you want to have one of everything, these are the actual tapes that were sent to disc jockeys. And it has nine mad minutes on each side. Yes, you could digitize them. And uh, I'm, I'm probably someone has some of them on the web someplace. But if you want to own an actual cassette that we made for the radio stations, that's what that is. And he thinks it'll probably bring $20. Hmm. But I yeah, have so a couple sell, of those if you want. Yeah, I could give them to if, you. Oh, no, that's okay. No, I mean, if I sell 30 cassettes, there's another month's rent paid. Oh, no, 15 cassettes is almost a month's rent. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying. And also, spurred on by my accountant who said, you better start earning a little more money. <laughs> yeah. No, that yeah. feeling. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, my friend, tomorrow, Gadget Warehouse Friday. We'll, we'll dig into the Gadget Warehouse, find something a little different, a little odd, a little unusual, shall we? I will. I'll be here. Hey.